The Herber-Bosch process, a Nobel Prize-winning 20th century breakthrough, revolutionised the production of nitrogen fertilisers, playing a crucial role in feeding a growing global population. Despite its significance, this technology is energy intensive, contributing approximately 1.3% of global CO2 emissions. The industry is exploring pathways to minimise its carbon footprint while meeting the increasing demand for food. In 2021, the International Fertiliser Association, in collaboration with the International Energy Agency and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, initiated a global roadmap for decarbonised ammonia production. Announced at COP26, this initiative uses scenario analysis to explore how to reach net zero by 2050. This path comes with its own set of obstacles. Addressing these challenges requires a significant shift towards making low-carbon ammonia not only affordable, but also realistically achievable at scale. It takes a supportive policy framework and long-term visibility. To advance decarbonisation, the industry needs the right infrastructure, affordable technologies that can be scaled up, and sufficient access to renewable energy. Furthermore, it's important to recognise that every region has its distinct characteristics be it the environmental aspects, financial considerations, renewable energy and carbon storage potential or regulation. IFA continues to collaborate with financial organisations, national governments, the local industry and the scientific community to create country-specific low-carbon pathways. Reach out for more information regarding tailored strategies to decarbonisation.